All right. Well, I've gotten a couple of questions um, uh, asking me to work through this problem. And there are actually two types of problem here. One is asking you to find the volume of hydrogen. Another is asking you to find the final temperature in degrees Celsius. And I'm going to work through each of these uh, in a row here. You'll notice we know that we have the grams of magnesium, which is one of our reactants. We've got the milliliters and molarity of our other reactant. So this is a limiting reactant problem. We've got the total pressure, also the, or the atmospheric pressure. And um, we've got the delta H reaction here. And, oh, we've got the initial temperature of the solution as well. And we've got a nice picture of what's going on here. We've got the metal magnesium reacting with the hydrochloric acid to produce a gas. That gas goes through the tube and it's collected over here. Uh, and so that's where this picture comes from. I'm gonna fold the picture over now and leave us with our problem statement. And uh, let's get that to sit there, good, uh, more or less. So, like I said, this is a limiting reactant problem. And the first thing we're gonna have to do is take our grams of magnesium and convert them into hydrogen. And this particular time, we'll be interested in the moles of hydrogen gas because we're interested in the volume of that gas. We'll use the molar mass. And then we're gonna convert it to hydrogen using the coefficients. And again, that's where we're gonna stop. <clears throat> And I got my calculator here. And my grams, 0.65 divided by 24.30. And I get 0 0.0267, it's a three sig figs, moles of hydrogen. Now let's look at how much we can get with our hydrochloric acid. Convert our milliliters into liters. Uh, Break our molarity, 0 0.39 uh, moles of HCl per liter. And then this time it's going to take two moles of HCl for every one mole of hydrogen. And let's see how many moles we get here. <clears throat> so let's see, uh, 0.14 times 0.39 divided by two. I get, ooh, it's close, 0 0.0273 moles of hydrogen. Pretty close, but we know that our limiting reactant is still the magnesium. And as far as number one goes, what is the volume of hydrogen gas? We now know the moles of hydrogen gas. And so this part gets specific to question number one. And let's move things up a bit. Uh, we'll bring the problem back in a minute if we need it. Um, so we know our moles. We know our temperature. And our temperature we convert into Kelvin. 298 is fine. We know our atmospheric pressure. And we know that our gas is collected over water. Oh, that should be a plus. So we know that the partial pressure of the hydrogen is actually going to be less uh, by the amount of the vapor pressure of water at 25 degrees Celsius. We can look at our table on our conversion and equation sheet and find that the partial pressure of, or the vapor pressure at that temperature is 23.78 millimeters of mercury, which gives me 0 0.0313 atmospheres, because I divided it by 760. All right, so we know our partial pressure, or, or sorry, our total pressure, which is 1.06 atmospheres. 
and we can subtract off and solve for our partial pressure of hydrogen. and get 1.03 atmospheres. So with a pressure, a temperature, and a moles, we can now plug everything in. We're looking for volume. So I'll rearrange the ideal gas flow to solve for volume. Volume here is going to be uh, moles. R and temperature all over our pressure. And solving that, 0.0267 times 0.08206 times 298 divided by 1.03, I get 0 0.634 to 3 sig figs liters. This is what is the volume of hydrogen gas produced in liters? So that is my final answer for part one. Looking back at our answer or what we've got up here, now let's take another sheet of paper and this time solve Problem two. Problem two, if you remember, says, what is the final temperature in degrees Celsius of the solution? And this is a coffee cup calorimeter type question. Let's see if this will work here. Two, we still need our moles of our limiting reactant. And, um, oh, but the coffee cup calorimeter with a reaction Q reaction equals minus Q solution. And we have to plug everything in, being careful of units. So uh, our delta H value for minus 467 kilojoules per mole, as I may have mentioned before, I work all my problems in joules. So 467,000 joules per mole, and that's negative. It's going to be times my moles and my moles. We can use my moles of hydrogen here because it is also, it is the moles reacted and it does have a one coefficient. Um, if, yes, and we've talked about that before. Minus sign transfers, my mass 140 milliliters plus 65, 0.65 grams. 140.65 grams, 4.184 joules per gram degree Celsius, and T final, which we don't know, minus 25.0 degrees Celsius, and we just sort of fit it on there. And that's the setup. Um, let's see, we know that this is an exothermic reaction, so the temperature must go up. Uh, let's multiply a little bit of this out. So 467,000 minus times 0 0.0267 is 12,469 joules because my units of moles cancel out. Multiply these two. And I get minus 588. Well, it's 588, doesn't round up. I do three sig figs. TF minus minus gives me a plus. So when I multiply this 25, 14,712, like so. Now I need to bring this over to the other side as a negative. And I get minus 27,181 with way too many sig figs, but
Then I get <clears throat> hopefully something. I get a final temperature of 46.2 degrees Celsius, which is higher, which is good. <clears throat> 